my name is Laura. This is an informative commercial. You will learn who we are, what school psychology is, what kind of jobs school psychologists have, how to get involved in school psychology, and why you should choose school psychology as a career. We are the school, we are the school psychology group in Dr. Brown's class, and I hope you will find this commercial very informative. Hi, I'm Glenda, and I'm here to tell you who school psychologists work with and where they work. School psychologists work with students, educators, and parents to help each group meet their developmental, social, and psychological needs. The majority of school psychologists are employed in school systems. However, there is still a nice amount employed in private clinics and hospitals. The first job aspect involves working with students to ensure their success academically, socially, and mentally. The second aspect involves working with educators to help them create successful learning strategies inside and outside of the classroom. Hi, my name is Ashley and I will be talking about the five major tasks of school psychology. The five tasks are consultation, evaluation, intervention, prevention, research, and planning. Consultation. Consultation is when you consult with teachers, parents, and administrators to find effective solutions to learning and behavior problems. Evaluation is when they evaluate eligibility for special services, evaluate learning environments, and determine social, emotional development, and mental health status. Intervention is when they provide psychological counseling to help resolve interpersonal or family problems that may interfere with school performance. Prevention is when they design programs to ensure the success and safety of the children. Research and planning is when they evaluate the effectiveness and of academic and behavior management programs. The ultimate goal of a school psychologist is to use their education and psychology background to access, understand, improve, and treat behavioral, learning, developmental, anxiety, and social disorders in children and adolescents. Hi, my name is Tashana Turner and I will be talking to you about the different types of jobs. Graduates with a master's or doctoral level degree in psychology will find that they have a wide variety of career options. Most people with a doctoral degree will pursue careers in social service. Most, most psychologists work in the school system, but there are some that find employment in other places such as private clinics, hospitals, universities, and social services. Some areas of social services include, but are not limited to, clinicians, counselors, and social workers. Since all people do not share the same interests, some people with doctoral degrees will find careers in the government and business field. This field requires the psychologist to conduct research. Areas of this field include industrial organizational psychologists, school counselors, and school psychologists. Psychologists who normally go into private practice are those with a doctoral degree in school psychology. The average salary for practicing school psychologists with a doctoral degree is $51,000 a year. Although the average salary for practicing school psychologists may seem a bit low sometimes, the mean salary of school psychologists in the U.S. in 2004-2005 school years was $60,581. Hi, I'm Melissa Bedorf. To get involved in school psychology, first find a school that offers a graduate program. Many schools offer a master's degree program in school psychology, and some schools, like SIUE, take it a step further and offer a specialist degree. The specialist degree at SIUE requires 30 hours on top of a master's degree in child clinical psychology. To gain relevant experience during undergrad, try to find research opportunities or you can observe a school psychologist or participate in programs like Junior Achievement to get experience working with school-aged children. Hi, I'm Christine Bracamontes and I'm here to tell you why school psychology may be the right career path for you. School psychology is both an interesting and diverse subfield of psychology. There are many reasons why one would want to become a school psychologist. As a school psychologist, you have the opportunity to work with a wide variety of students. You can work with parents and teachers, helping them to develop the best programs for learning and teaching. You can also work with students and teachers, helping them to develop the most appropriate methods for managing behavior in the classroom. There are many reasons why one would be, want to become a school psychologist. But if you have a passion for children and are enthusiastic about helping them succeed academically and in life, then school psychology may be the right career path for you. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please contact us in Dr. Brown's career psychology class or go to one of the following sources.